Okay, here we go. Uh, this is picking up right after the other video. I'm sorry that it ended so quickly, but as I, at the moment I'm using the PlayStation 5 recording and it can't go longer than an hour. And also I'm actually trying to make the video 30 minutes, but the last one actually seems to be an hour long again. I uh, hope you enjoy and I hope you're all well and I'm just going to continue from where I left off and we'll see how it goes from there. Okay. Family and mods. Okay, elemental effects. Taking a frozen target deals increased damage. The target is freed once the ice shatters. Like I said, these, this database just keeps on growing. It takes so long to go through everything. Proximity mines. Just read that. And the torrents as well. Closed cases, Mr. Freeze. The regulars the regulators have teamed up with Mr. Freeze. Villains, Mr. Freeze. I never knew his surname was spelled like that. He looks like fries, French fries. You can just pause and read this again. And there it just shows what he damages, resistance, immunity and weakness. Uh, factions. Mr. Freeze Associated Regulators. There's their brawler. Drone Master. Shocker. And Shooter. Okay. And that's a new one that I got from Bat Batarang a tree bill. Okay, so on the oh that's abilities. Uh, I wanna unlock the third one for knighthood. Uh, I'm gonna go for the grapple. Okay, uh, challenges, nope. Okay, so
AP point. Anything that I can do. Okay, I just need to get to that blue circle. Colonel Kane. Sergeant Pennyworth. I'm sorry I had to push our meeting so late. Work never seems to stop in this city. Oh, I can certainly relate. The paperwork hasn't let up since Bruce's passing. <sighs> yeah. I still can't believe it. Burying Bruce was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Do you remember what I told you after Martha and Tommy? You said, life matters when death matters. We take the living for granted until they're gone. I don't know what the Wayne Foundation will do without Bruce. I trust Master Grayson has been helpful? As you adjust? Yeah, he sure has. Dick had his first investor call the other day. I'm surprised how well he did. Every day I find... You geezers escape from the old folks' home. Don't you know it's dangerous out here at night? Every day I find new reasons to be proud. Empty your pockets or I empty the gun. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Quite the about face. That punk didn't know who he was messing with. Come inside. We'll have a drink. Catch up. Don't have to twist my arm. Let's not be long, though. I wouldn't want anyone to worry. Belfry, what do you have on the court? The court is an old folktale. The stuff circus people love. Legend has it they're an elite society that runs the town in secret. I remember reading about them when I was a kid. But why would Penguin send us after an old story? If there's any truth to these court stories, they could be behind all those releases from Blackgate. And those cases go back hundreds of years. Copy that. Let's hope a visit to the Powers Club leads somewhere. Yeah, um, that is uh, the guy that gave the eulogy at Bruce's funeral, his uncle. That was with uh, Alfred. And I think Alfred is, I think he might have been in the French army or something. He's not as helpless as everyone thinks. Um, and yeah, like you see, you see, he's actually kind of a badass. And at the end, I like that it's like he knows Batgirl, one of the knights was watching. Now he looked over his shoulder. Okay, now you need to reach the Powers Club. And I think I might go back to the Balfrey first. Maybe get a new look. First get that information, that false information.
And sorry if I was wrong, I thought it's like once per night, but maybe they pop up as you do one. Just what I wanted to hear. You guys are getting lazy. I found these of in memory of Neil Adams, a true trailblazer. Now there's a one or two of them through the game. I think they might actually programmers or see this he died in 2022 I'll have a look um, who exactly he was if he was one of the comics or one of the game producers or something I think there's one more memorial like that CPD it seem to keep coming back over here. This time they've actually got someone patrolling here. And control panel. I'm oh, sorry, dude, but I'm gonna put you to sleep. If someone sees you, they might suspect the files were tampered with. Don't worry, they won't see me coming. What's going on? Like you see, these guys are pretty tough. Actually,
Okay, so sorry about that. I'll show it in the next video. exactly get along when I was on the streets. She was a rookie when my dad was on the force, but he took a shine to her. I think we should at least give her a chance. Fair enough. But I'm still on the fence. I don't like Gotham cops. Jason, you don't like anybody. That's not true. I like that you get that. <laughs> I do believe we have a guest. You're telling me a cat managed to break through a world-class security system? It wouldn't be the first cat to find its way past the bat's walls. Any visuals on our new tenant yet? Not yet, but I suspect if we start leaving food out for him, we may find ourselves with a new addition to the bat family. I'll ask one of the guys to swing past the pet store after the next patrol. A pet in a belfry. Hmm. Could be kind of fun. I love that nodded catwoman that got through the bat's walls defenses. Okay, let's see here. Side activities. Okay, that uh, story's not. Secret caches. Dr. Victor Freeze, the scientist termed supervillain, also known as Mr. Freeze, is claiming responsibility for a daring nighttime raid on Gotham's own Star Labs. Authorities say Freeze conspired with the cyber criminals known as the Regulators to steal thousands of dollars worth of experimental equipment from the ultra secure facility. An unknown number of Star scientists and staff were injured in the raid with multiple fatalities. Freeze and others involved remain at large. This is GCN. I'm Noor Rashid. <laughs> we need to find that cryogel. <laughs> and take down Freeze. <laughs> he killed that scientist. <laughs> Just to spite us. <laughs> and then... He got away! He said it was Batman's fault. Bruce promised him a cure for his condition. And in return, Freeze is supposed to behave. But I guess with Bruce gone, he's back in the game. What have you got, Tim? Judging from the list of stolen items, I'd say he's looking to upgrade his exosuit. And that's just for starters. He also downloaded local weather balloon data for the past 10 years. Let's go back out there and stop Freeze before he kills anyone else. Yes! Easy, Tiger. We'll get him. Maybe that's enough practice for today. I've set the back computer to monitor the city for high concentrations of cryogel. Meanwhile, we should keep tabs on anyone working for Freeze, which should be easy since he decks out all of his lackeys with cryo guns. Jason Todd does not take well to losing. Raiding Star Labs was a brash move, even for Freeze. We need to expect the worst from him. Like the new look? 
This place is quite remarkable. It's certainly brighter than the Batcave. I prefer the Belfry like this. Filled with people. I think Bruce would too. I know he would. Because this is your home. Gotham's our home too. And like Bruce, we'll be there to protect it. No matter how hard it gets. Protecting Gotham is a difficult endeavor. One that Bruce knew you would face. So, he made sure that you would have everything you'd need to succeed. Why am I not surprised? Okay, so we've got the Harley Quinn one we can do. Mr. Freeze and the Regulators. That is a dangerous partnership. I don't think they've ever worked for anyone before. He can give them access to technology and equipment they can only dream of. But if we take down Freeze, we'll also take down their new weapon supplier. Two birds, one stone. Okay, so you need to stop crime with that. Contact. That's Matoya. Interrogate criminals. Stop premeditated crimes. Lucius Fox. Okay, the watch is now a new contact that you're gonna get. Old ally of that man working with an organization called the Watch asked to meet up in North Gotham. Crafting, heroic travel, collectibles. Um, Master Richard. Yeah. Could you keep an eye on Master Jason? He's been quite upset since the events at Star Labs. Freeze getting away was a hard pill to swallow. I'll make sure he's okay. Thank you. Uh, I hear you. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Guys files, Mr. Freeze. Gear. New suit. Okay, and it has to have a. So I'm, I'll rock this look for a while. Cold snap suit. Resistance is cold. Melee. Put some extra health into it. And we do actually abilities. I think I'm gonna save until I've got. I'm gonna try and get that one over there. That she's actually got an extra train. I want that as well. Uh, okay, emails. Oh, it's actually a few. Can I be the first to say that you take far too much pleasure in messing around with people who underestimate you? I read the interview that you did with Gotham's Elite. You have the reporter convinced you're a golden retriever in very tailored clothing. To Barbara Gordon from Dick Grayson. OK, 
Africa. He has a whole. So he has a report about how uh, De Grayson is now taking over Bruce Wayne for Wayne Tech. Just pause and read it. This is another spam one, so you can read it if you want. Okay, hey, we keep getting reports of some weird guy mugging people all over town. The victims say he doesn't have a face, probably a mask or something. So it's hard to get a description. We haven't found him yet, but I thought I'd let you guys know. Maybe you'll have better luck catching him. And then anonymous source, the watch. You don't know me, but I'm a friend of Batman's. He asked me to contact you through this address if I hadn't seen him for a while. I have information that could be of use to you. Come see me in North Gotham. I've included the map coordinates. I might actually keep it that color. Maybe I'll go with that. Yeah, I'm sorry, this I just don't like this white. Uh, I think I'll go with that. Let's see, cowl. I like to see the colors from a distance. Oh, I like that one. If you also, if you've seen, I don't know if you've seen, but in the suits, your um, hair actually changes. Or her hair, at least. Well, the guy's hair as well, but not red roots, I think. Um, that one. Oh yeah, I think I like that. Boots. See the boots from a distance. Yeah, I think that. Which looks like a police officer now. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be that for this video. Um, next video I'll... Let me just check one thing before I go. Um, yeah, like I say, they all got the same suit. Uh, the advantage is, is you can take the mod out of hers and just put it in this suit it doesn't get destroyed or cost anything so you can swap out mods as much as you want uh, Malie. that is a nice heroic one see these stars also change uh, ranged oh no crafting he does have one He's got these dagger things that like he throws. You can see that there's ain't good any difference in them. Okay, now the big thing, uh, he's got the email as well.
Oh, okay. It's exactly the same. It's just his version of it. The big thing I wanted to see is knighthood. See? Now he's also got, he's still got... The regulators managed to escape with a lot of confidential data. Crap. Who knows what they got their hands on? I'll keep an eye on the usual black market sites, just in case. He still needs to unlock three abilities in the knighthood ability tree. So you have to do that with everyone. Let's do this nest one uh, and my queen shoots three dots at once. Okay, and let's do this number of attacks as well anyway, since we can. Okay, and then I wish they had a run here as well. So this is more or less the same for everyone. The dialogue is a little bit different. Since she's actually doing yoga. I love these interactions between everyone and what they're doing in the balcony and stuff. Well, I say with her, it's especially if you consider she was in a wheelchair at one stage. So, what do you think? This place is quite remarkable. It's certainly brighter than the Batcave. <laughs> I wish Bruce could see this. It's not the manor, but I think he'd like it. I know he would. Because this is your home. No matter how hard we try, there's always more to do. But Bruce never gave up, and neither will we. Protecting Gotham is a difficult endeavor, one that Bruce knew you would face. So he made sure that you would have everything you'd need to succeed. Of course he did. Did you see that watch on his arm? I wonder if that's a Rolex. Okay, I'm going to do these quickly in this video and then I'll end it. Should have known Freeze would resurface sooner or later. The guy's out for blood, Babs. Look at the chaos back at Star Labs. I know, Jason. We'll track him down, I promise. Well, that's pretty cool on him. His staff also changes. And his range is actually a uh, electric slingshot or something. Um, okay, abilities. Definitely want more nanites. I want to show you this one. And the aerial attacks. Belfry's really coming together.
This place is quite remarkable. It's certainly brighter than the Batcave. Wish we could fit a giant dinosaur in here, <laughs> but I think Bruce would approve. I know he would, because this is your home. Gotham's our home. Bruce was always looking out for it. And we can do that literally from up here. Protecting Gotham is a difficult endeavor. One that Bruce knew you would face. So... He made sure that you would have everything you'd need to succeed. Always three moves ahead. Uh, that mention, I love um, like the mentions they do with the, the things like, if you remember the intro video where Bruce fights Razor Ghoul, there's actually a huge dinosaur in the Batcave. Now apparently that is um, a prop that he got from one of his cases that he actually solved and then they put it in the Batcave and they actually put like sent, uh, cameras, security cameras and stuff in it. Um, and also like in that fight it was so cool like there was like the Riddler thing and he actually used it in one stage but the question mark there was a huge Joker card, and there were all these nods to his like villains and cases that was pretty cool during the fight. If you, if you want, you can go back and look at it again. I've already got, uh, I think I'm going to do this one. I'll probably read the emails that they got in the next video. This one's already longer than 30 minutes again. Just so I can't seem to stay in it in that time frame. Best hideout ever, right? This place is quite remarkable. It's certainly brighter than the Batcave. We still need to work on expanding the library. But I think Bruce would like it anyway. I know he would. Because this is your home. Never really knew what home felt like. But standing in this place, looking over Gotham. Yeah, it's okay. Protecting Gotham is a difficult endeavor. One that Bruce knew you would face. So, he made sure that you would have everything you'd need to succeed. Of course he did. Okay, now gear. You know, I got a, a. He's got this suit. Is there not a style? New God, Titan, Eternal. Hmm, I don't 
think anyone new ones on our might be night watch This, the range is basically he's like gun clips sometimes. I don't think there's any change in them. Okay. Like I said, I'll be checking the uh, emails and stuff in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. And like I said, I know it's kind of repetitive, but each one has a little bit of different speech, if you saw, reaction. And I hope you are well and have a good week. Remember to hit the likes, subscribe, and enable the notifications. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, what you want to see, how you are. Okay. Have a good one and see you in the next video. Just see here. Uh, Nitrid is gone.